nice piece of property. Friday nights for a bit of fun. We'll go dancing. Meanwhile, it's a wink and a wiggle and a giggle in the grass, and I'll trip the light fandango, a pinch and a diddle in the middle of what passes by. The pinch and the punch to the paunch and the pouch and the pension. It's a very short road to the ten thousand lunch and the belch and the grouch and the sigh. In the meanwhile, there are miles to be kissed before miles to be fed and a lot in between. In the meanwhile, and a girl ought to celebrate what passes by. Businessman, five fat babies and lots of security. Friday nights, if we think we can, we'll go dancing. A push and a fumble and a tumble in the sheets and I'll foot the Highland fancy. A dip in the butter and a flutter with what meets my eye. It's a very short fetch from the push and the whoop to the squint and the stoop and the mumble. It's not much of a stretch to the cribs and the group and the bosoms that droop and go dry. In the meanwhile, there are miles to be kissed before miles to be fed. I was looking for my wife. Oh, Mr. Elkerman, how can I face you after that exhibition after dinner, throwing myself at your head? On the contrary, I found it most morale building. It's not often these days that a beautiful woman does me that honor. I didn't. I beg your pardon? I didn't do you that honor. It was just a charade, a failed charade. In my madness, I thought I could make my husband jealous. 
I'm afraid marriage isn't one of the easier relationships, is it? Oh, Mr. Eggman, for a woman, it's impossible. It's not all that possible for men. Men, look at you. A man of an age when a woman is lucky if a drunken alderman pinches her derriere at a village fete, and yet you have managed to acquire the youngest, prettiest. I hate you being happy. I hate anyone being happy. The kids should be ready at the stables. I do hope the horses will be smart. I so detest riding in a gig when the horses are not smart. <laughs> Think of how I adore you. Think of how much you love me. If I were perfect for you, wouldn't you tire of me? birds nest in my hair. Silly Henry, quick, or we'll miss the train. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? It was. Run after them, quick. You can catch them at the stables. After the horse has gone? How strange that one's life should end sitting on a bench in a garden. Go away. I'd have been here half an hour ago if I hadn't had to knock a little sense into my wife. Carl, Magnus, don't take off your tunic. Poor girl. She was somewhat the worse for wine, of course. Trying to make me believe she was attracted to that asinine lawyer fellow. Carl, Magnus, now listen to me. It's over. It was never anything in the first place, but now it is over. Of all people, that lawyer. Scrawny as a scarecrow without a hair on his body, probably. Do not take off your trousers. Poor girl. She'd slash her wrist before she'd let any other man touch her. And even if under the influence of wine she did stray a bit, how ridiculous to imagine that I would so much as turn a hair. <laughs> Good God. What is it? <laughs> it's her and him sitting on a bench. She's touching him. A scoundrel. A conniving swine. Any man who thinks he can lay a finger on my wife. Oh, Magnus, what are you doing? My dueling pistols. Oh, Magnus! 